welcome to my channel thank you for joining me today for this cash stuffing video i am a budget mama based in the uk i have a small family just myself my husband and our young daughter and we have moved to a cash budget to help us get a better handle on our finances and help us stick to our budget today's video is going to be me stuffing our weekly spending money but before I get into it, I do just need to mention that I do have a dressing on my left hand. If you've seen previous videos, you'll know that I have had surgery. There is just a dressing on there, like a big plaster at the moment. It's not a big bandage. But if you do not like seeing things like that, then join me for one of my future videos or watch some of my previous videos. Or you could even just listen to this one without looking at the screen. So thank you so much for joining me today and let's get started. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 170. The amount doesn't tend to change every week. We have a specific budget. That is as much as we are allowed to spend in a week, which is why it doesn't change. And my husband does have a stable income it doesn't vary at all so that's the amount that we are comfortable with that's the amount that's working for us so I'm sorry there's not more variety <laughs> so the first thing that I'm going to do is check what was left from last week and all of the money that is left in here will go into our savings challenges we are doing two at the moment we have a weekly savings challenge like a cash envelope savings challenge and we have the penny savings challenge running at the moment. So food, oh, 5.78, that's, that's not too bad. So I've got a few pennies in here already because they're ones that I've either found down the back of the sofa or when we've been walking in the street. So they go into my little jar and they'll go into our penny savings as well. So car, all of the petrol money went into the car. So that is still serving as well. Personal care, do we? I thought we had some left. We do not, none. We did, we haven't spent any of our personal care money, uh, but then I had an appointment at the hospital and uh, we use that money to go and get coffee and cake because I feel like that that was a form of coffee and cake is a form of self-care right <laughs> clothes and shoes we do have some money left I'm going to leave the pound coins in but then all the loose change is going to come out so there's two four six eight pounds going back in and 125 is coming out. Miscellaneous, oh, a whole 10p. <laughs> That's going to go a long way. And then we didn't spend any of the money for the cat. that was what was left from last week we are going to put that into savings in a moment but I'm going to stuff my envelopes first so starting from the top we put 50 pounds into food I did actually do some meal planning this week so I feel like I did a full shop I meal planned and I actually cut some things from scratch, so I was feeling pretty good this week. And we were quite reasonably under budget, and that was after buying beer as well. So I feel like I've, this week at least, I feel like I've cracked it. It's probably not going to be the case next week. Car, I feel like the car fund we need to put more into, because at the moment it's covering our petrol fund. And that is great, but we got a nail in our tire, so we needed to get it replaced. It wasn't it wasn't fixable, unfortunately. Um, and that kind of kind of messed up the budget. So 
it didn't affect the money that goes into our cash envelopes but we do save a specific amount at the end of each month and that goes towards a couple of different things which is something that I could talk about in a future video um, at the moment I'm just focusing on kind of the the day-to-day -day, the week-to-week -week, uh, spending money at the moment for my videos um, but we didn't have as much at the end of the month to go in savings from the account um, because we needed the we needed a new tire I'm thinking that maybe into this car fund we may need to have a second little envelope and we could put maybe a certain amount each week towards car maintenance and that could maybe cover um, maintenance like tires and stuff MOT service any work that needed doing so hmm. And I think even, even if it was only like £20 a week, I think that should cover us across a year because that's going to give us nearly £1,000 across the year, which should hopefully cover any, any work that we need doing. It's not, it's not a complete old banger. It's not, it is over 10 years old, but it shouldn't need super huge amounts of work doing. Um, so petrol, anyway... 20, 40, 60, 70 is going into petrol. If I do do that, if I do add an extra envelope, it will be next week, just because I have literally just thought of it as I'm recording this. Self-care, we put 10 into. As I've said previously, this covers uh, things like shampoo and conditioner and moisturiser and things like that if we need sun cream, which, which we definitely have the last few days. Um, but also, like I say, we didn't spend any this week. We didn't need any of that stuff. So it went on a little coffee shop trip, which is, is a form of self-care. At least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> So clothes and shoes is getting 20. Hopefully that will build up again and we can have enough towards sort of autumn and winter for anything that we need. Uh, seasonal things that we need. I know my husband needs a new waterproof uh, because his has, I have no idea if we've left it in a cafe or if it's, I don't know. It's missing. It has gone walkies. It's entirely possible we've left it on the boat because it's been so long since we've been up there that it might be there. And then the pet fund is getting 10 as usual. We don't always spend the 10. On a week where we need litter and a little bit of food, we might spend the full £10. Um, but if we don't spend it, it's just, it's money that can go into savings, which makes me feel good. So um, I'm going to stick with the 10 in the cat fund. Um, so let's have a look at our savings challenges. So as I say, we've got our weekly savings challenge, which is the envelopes. So we've got 52 envelopes and each week I fill a, an envelope. Um, so these are my filled ones and I've got a little sheet to track. So they're filling up. They're filling up all right. They're not, oh, I didn't colour in. Didn't colour in last week. One second. I will cut this and come back to you. So, I'm just going to go through and check actually because there might be others that I haven't coloured in. So we've got 5, 10, 22, 25, 39, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52. Yeah, it was too much to hope that there might have been multiple ones that I haven't coloured in. So I've taken to putting the running total on the screen just so that you can watch as that money builds up uh, and saves you, because I know you're interested, it saves you pausing and zooming 
and figuring out how much money I've got in my savings. No, I don't think you do that. You probably don't do that. I would. If it was somebody else's video, I would. So I've just got £10 to go into my savings challenge. So the question is, hmm, I'm feeling a condensing and shoving in a bigger one coming on. So 10, 20, 40. So if I took these three envelopes plus today's 10, I could fill number 47. That would work. Let's do that. Let's do that. I was very happy when one of my lovely subscribers commented on a previous video where I condensed some of my smaller envelopes into a larger one. Um, and they commented that they thought it was a very good idea and they actually went and did exactly that with their savings. So I'm happy that somebody is getting something out of my videos. So, oh, I'm all thumbs today. I'm all thumbs. So we are filling number 47, 10, 15, 25, 47. Good job. apologize for all of the groaning in these latest videos um i was back at the hospital again today uh, and the nurse that i spoke to basically said i need to use my left hand as much as possible to ensure i keep kind of movement stop it scarring up and becoming stiff so i am desperately trying to use it but it doesn't half hurt so there's a lot of groaning i do apologize so number 47, 20, 30, 40, 45, 47. Oh, I'm gonna have to find some nail polish remover to clean my, to clean my tracking sheet thingy. We'll find that in a moment. Or I'll forget and I will have cleaned it for next time. <laughs> So that is, that is the weekly challenge done, sorted, so that is that one finished and then the other thing that I do is take my loose change and put it in, put it towards my penny savings challenge, so I will count it off camera because you don't want to see that so we've got seven pounds 35 in change so same thing for the penny shaving penny shavings <laughs> penny savings challenge um do i want to do a couple of big ones do i want to do some little ones there's i mean Far too much thought goes into this. I'm honestly, it doesn't matter. We're going to get there eventually. I need some big ones. So I can fill two big ones from that. So, three. One, two, three. Ow. So, 362. Then I can do three. Sixteen. Ooh, see, this is the problem that I thought I'd have. So, a couple of videos ago, I filled a lot of my smaller ones just to make myself feel good, and now it's going to lead to a bit of a headache going forward. So maybe I do 300 and then 20, 30, 40, 50, and then 73. Am I adding? Can I add? 
I'm not convinced. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 73. Yeah, so I can do 373 and then 362 is there. Some people have these all beautifully colour coordinated or they colour them in in a pattern. And I just think you must really, really want to do that. So that's 300 and then we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 73, 73. Sort it. So all of this, oh, he's getting heavy. Too flush, you're putting on weight, bud. All of this goes into my toothless money box. He guards my money with his life. Last one. Done. Oh, tell you what, toothless. If people loved me when I put on pounds, I'd be very happy. But that's not the case. I love you for putting on pounds. Thank you very much. Oh, God. I'm talking to the money box. Oh, wow. I need to get to life. <laughs> so, savings challenge done. Other savings challenge done. Money is in. Ow. Oh. Money is in. Weekly spending done. That's it. That's all I need to do. It's going to be a short one, I think. But I don't think there's anything else to say. So, thank you so much for joining me. As always, thank you to my wonderful subscribers who subscribe and like and comment on my videos. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to everybody who's new that has just found my channel. I hope you enjoy my content and I really hope to see you for my next video. Happy budgeting!